Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be putting the stages power meter on my bike. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is whip off the Jura A crank arm there. And we'll do that by loosening the bolts, making sure we pull up the clip in the middle and we'll pull the arm off. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're just going to use this X tools uh, tool. Just do it on just to loosen it off. Yeah, there we go. That one's that one's loosened. Put it in the right hole, that'll probably be better. That one is loose. Let's pull that up. He says, trying to do it. There we go. Right now we just need the tool for the center. So I'll just put this in. Undo it. Crank arm will pull off. There it is, off. Go to the bench. Okay, so attached to here, I've got an Altegra pedal. I've also got a very old Garmin uh, Cadence computer gadget thing. Um, so what we'll do, whip that off. We'll whip the pedal out. We need an eight mil spanner for that. Um, I believe the Pami has got a, a Cadence sensor in it. So I won't be needing this anymore. So we'll just put the pedal on the new Cadence arm and uh, then we'll put it back together. Okay, so we're just gonna pop off the cadence sensor. This thing has been on here a very long time. Well, wow, five years or so. Okay, we'll put it there. Yeah, it's scratched up a little bit on the arm, but we'll just take the pedal off. Just push this one together. There it goes. So, it's probably because I've got anti-seize on there. I have. Fantastic. Anti-seize has done its job. So the pedal arm is free. Now we can open up the stages box. Crank this one out. We'll, uh, we'll sync it to the computer as well when we get there. But for now, we're just going to put the pedal in. Um, I'll put some gloves on and we'll put some more anti-seize on that. Okay, so a bit of anti-seize helps. If it's gonna come off, it gets this. It's just my rule of thumb. Let's tighten her up. So. Don't know the torque setting for pedals. Tight, I think, is the. Well, that ain't coming off. So, we got the pedal on. Okay, so we can now put it back on the bike and then uh, sync it up. We'll take the label off, we'll sync it up to the computer, see what's happening. Okay, so. We'll just put this back. This can go up to 12 o'clock. This can go straight there. So we're going to need the uh, little pre-tension plug. So we'll just screw that in. Just to get it, there we go, just to get it tensioned up in there. Okay, that's bottomed out. That can come off. Now we'll just do the bolts up with our 5mm Allen key and then we'll tension them up. Okay, so use the X Tools torque wrench. It's been set to, um, you can see there, 14. So evenly. Yeah, that one's clicked. 
That one's clear, so just check them again. Yep. And yeah, so that can be uh, put back to zero. Put everything back in the box as we go so we don't forget anything. Right, let's take the cover off here. Okay, uh, let's pull out the blue little tag. He says, pulling the whole of the cap off and the battery. Okay, so let me sort this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so the next step, we're going to fire up the Wahoo. Okay, so we've got my computer up and running. Just going to go into the settings. So we've got heart rate sensor, DO2 and cadence. What I may do is forget my cadence because we've taken it off. No. And I want to add a sensor. Hold next to the sensor whilst we're pedaling it around. Save power. Yes, I would. I'd like to save it. Add power data fields to pages. Um, go on then. Okay, so we've got power, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we have to calibrate it. So I've spun it round till it woke up. And now we have to say calibrate. And it calibrates the unit. Calibration complete. Torque offset 896. I don't know what that means. Okay, so we've calibrated it. Okay, guys, I've come inside because... Um, I didn't have any Wi-Fi in the garage, so I can't uh, sort out this power meter. So, as you can see, we are um, going to connect to this one, and we get this display. So we've got firmware, zero reset tools. Uh, we've got all of our stuff. It's all connected. And there's a firmware update. So, yes, we do want to do that. Um, and we'll update that one. Thank you. And let's have a look. So, we'll just come back when that's finished. Okay, so it's been uh, three minutes. Um, the light on the stages uh, per meter right there in the middle of the logo flash green. But it's been on this blank page for about a minute now, so I'm going to press back. See what happens. Um, doesn't look like much is happening. So let's go for firmware. Firmware is up to date. Magic uh, tools. So we've got enable gyroscope. So let's bong that on. Checking device. Looks like that's good. So the gyroscope will be the uh, cadence, I'm assuming. Can't change anything else um, there. So let's go for that. Uh, zero reset. And we would like degrees. So I'll perform a reset. Calibration error. The crank is not in the right position. Okay, so we're back outside. We're just going to do a reset. Perform reset. There we go. Okay, so we reset, and then one more thing we've got to do is add the cadence sensor back. So let's do that. Okay, so we just need to add back the cadence sensor. Let's get that in a place. There I am. No one wants to see my ugly mug. Okay, so we go to add sensor. Hold next to sense. Yay! Save cadence. Great, Rob. Right, we'll save that. Uh, we don't want to add them to the page. So we've got now heart rate, DI2, stages, power, and cadence. I like it. Thank you very much.
Okay guys, so that's all on. Um, we've got the cadence set up, the power set up. Um, it's all reset, the firmware is upgraded. So now we just got to go for a ride. So um, whenever that is, I will update you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Kairos house. Bye.